welcome to my kitchen. My name is Morgan. Today we're gonna to be processing all of these pumpkins into pumpkin puree. These are sitting out on my front porch for longer than what they should have. It did freeze a couple days, but I'm thinking these are gonna be okay because they were right up next to my house on the front porch. So they should have been saved from the frost, but we will see. I know one ended up leaking out there, but that, that was from bug damage. So the rest of these should be good. So I'm just gonna bring you along today while we process all of these pumpkins. So to start this whole process, I just washed all of the pumpkins off in the sink under some warm water, trying to get all the dirt off. And I'm going ahead and cutting the stems and the tops off of the pumpkins so they're easier to cut in half. I'm scooping all of the seeds out. And don't worry, I'm saving them. We are going to make roasted pumpkin seeds later. But after I have all of the seeds scooped out, I'm getting them put on a cookie sheet with parchment paper on it, and I'm laying them face down, and we're gonna stick them in the oven at 425 degrees for about 50 minutes to an hour. I had two cookie sheets full, so I threw them in the oven. Now I'm working on filling my little quarter sheet pan and my nine by 13 pan and getting those in the oven. So we have a oven full of pumpkins. I have my last two pans full of pumpkins now, so time to get them all in the oven. I had it set at 350 while I was just preparing the rest of the pumpkins, so I set it to 425 and I set my timer for 50 minutes. Now, since I've already got pumpkin guts everywhere, I'm gonna go ahead and scoop out the rest of the pumpkins. Sorry, my cat just sneezed. So these pumpkins are prepared for when one of my sheet pans is done. I can just swap them out and get the last of the pumpkins in the oven. But while we wait, let's go ahead and tackle another project. All right, so I have all of those pumpkins in the oven roasting away. They have about 10 more minutes on them or so. I'm gonna check them when the timer goes off. And if they're done, I'll pull them out and get all of these pumpkins it was the four remaining pumpkins that I just uh, cut, carved out, scooped the seeds out, and they're just waiting to go in the oven. But last time I made pumpkin puree, I didn't roast any of the seeds, and my husband actually really likes pumpkin seeds. I just was feeling really lazy that day, and I'm like, you know what? This time, since I have all of these pumpkin seeds, I'm going to go ahead and roast some up. And I'm planning on bringing them along to Thanksgiving and in little uh, either half pint or pint jars, depending on how many I, ha I get at the end, to gift out. So I'm going to go ahead and scoop out maybe not all of these seeds, but probably a good majority of them. Any that are whole still, any that I've cut in half, I will probably leave out. But I'm going to get them in this bowl here and I'm gonna soak them in warm water until the pulp kind of pulls easily off of the seeds and then I'll strain them and I will be back once I get all of that done. So here I am just removing all of the seeds that I can from the pumpkin guts and I end up with probably three fourths of this bowl full of pumpkin seeds. It's a bunch of pumpkin seeds. But anyways, some of the pumpkins were done so I went ahead and pulled them out of the oven um, the top rack with the quarter sheet pan and the 9 by 13 pan wasn't quite done yet, so I put those back in. Ten minutes later, I pulled them out, and now I'm getting the last four pumpkins roasting in the oven. And while my pumpkin seeds are soaking in warm water so I can easily remove the pumpkin guts off of the seeds, I decided to go ahead and remove all of the pulp out of the roasted pumpkins because it's much easier to do when it is still warm. And you can just see how easily this skin pulls off of the pumpkins. It was so easy. I highly recommend roasting your pumpkins for longer than you think. I probably roasted mine somewhere near an hour and that just easily made the skin just fall off of the pumpkins. But now that I have all of the pumpkin puree pulled out of the roasted pumpkins, I'm gonna go ahead, wipe everything down and we're gonna get started on roasting some pumpkin seeds. 
Okay, so I have all of the pumpkin seeds washed, or at least the majority of them. I'm not going to say I have all of them washed from my, I guess, my little compost bowl, but I've got a bunch here. Enough for my family and plus some. So I will definitely have to find some of my extended family that wants some roasted pumpkin seeds. But now I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to split half of this as like a kind of all-purpose kind of seasoned pumpkin blend of uh, onion powder, garlic powder, salt, pepper, probably some paprika, maybe a little bit of cumin. And then I'm going to split for the other half, I'm going to do a barbecue seasoning on it. So I already have pre-made barbecue seasoning that I love to use. And then the kind of garlic powder, onion powder, I'm just going to throw that together. First things first, I'm going to move this up some without spilling these pumpkin seeds all over the floor, hopefully. How many times will I pick up pumpkin seeds today? I'm definitely on like the fifth time now. <laughs> sure, it won't be the last. Okay. Just kind of scoot it out of the way. All right, I've got all of my seasonings out that I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna go ahead and preheat my oven to 350 degrees. I had turned it off while I was washing the pumpkin seeds because I didn't want the oven still going, making the kitchen hot if I was just gonna be standing by the sink anyways. And I'm gonna pick out any, sorry, that's probably really loud. I'm gonna pick out any of the flesh that I kind of missed. I'm not worried about getting all of it, but if I see it, I will grab it. Let me see how much is left on my towel. Um, more pumpkin seeds going on the floor. say that was about half. All right, now let me bring you in a little closer. All right, so to my bowl, I'm going to add some avocado oil in and just a drizzle. I'd probably say maybe half a tablespoon or so. Next, I'm going to add garlic powder and I'm just going to eyeball, eyeball all of this. And I want this to be more garlicky than anything. So I added probably a teaspoon, a two teaspoons, probably two teaspoons. Now I'm gonna add onion powder. Probably close to a teaspoon. Next is paprika, and I'm just going to add a little bit of this, maybe half a teaspoon or so. Next is a little cumin, just a little bit. I probably added a teaspoon of paprika and then half a teaspoon of cumin. Next, I'm going to do pepper, probably half a teaspoon, and then salt. oven is preheated. I'm going to give these pumpkin seeds a mix. So now I 
I have a cookie sheet with a piece of parchment paper on it. My husband had ran this cookie sheet through the dishwasher, so it miscolored it a lot. And I just want to put a piece of parchment paper down just in case there's a barrier in between the metal and the pumpkin seeds. So now I'm going to get these onto the cookie sheet. And I am going to go ahead and sprinkle on more seasonings just on the top of the pumpkin seeds because some of these pumpkin seeds just ha did not have any seasoning on them. And I want them to all be flavorful. So I'm going to spread these out onto as much of a single layer as I can. So I've got the pumpkin seeds all spread out. I am going to add a layer of, not a whole layer, but I'm gonna sprinkle on the same seasonings I just did, just so everything kind of has a top layer on it. So you can really taste all of the seasonings. I'm just doing a very light sprinkle. And this is the garlic powder. Next I have onion powder. Basically what was left in my little jar. Paprika. And I'm gonna toss these pumpkin seeds every five minutes. So I'm not too worried about the, se the seasoning sitting on top of some pumpkin seeds and not getting to the bottom. Cause we are going to toss them and they will all become nice and seasoned and incorporated all over. Next I'm adding more pepper. And I'm not gonna add any more salt just because I don't want these overly salty and if I taste test them and go okay yeah they need more salt then I will add in a little bit more and toss it all together but I'm gonna go ahead and get these in the oven I just set my timer for five minutes now I'm gonna get the rest of these pumpkin seeds in here I wanted to do that kind of all-purpose season first, so that not all of these pumpkin seeds had a big barbecue flavor to them. Like a little bit of variety. Same thing, I'm just gonna add some avocado oil on the top. So the seasoning has something to stick to. And then I just make my barbecue seasoning like kind of like a rub um at home so i'm just gonna get it all broken apart again there's brown sugar in it so it clumps up after it sits for a while all right and i'm gonna sprinkle this on the top mix it all up I'm gonna add a little extra cumin to this. All right, now I'm gonna go get my other cookie sheet. All right, same thing, I have a layer of parchment paper down. It's not covering the full cookie sheet, but that is okay. I'm gonna get these pumpkin seeds on here. I'm scraping all of the seasoning out of the bowl so we can get it on the seeds 
and not waste it. All right, now I'm gonna spread this out into a nice even layer. This is going to be perfect timing because when I have one more minute left on the all-purpose seasoned um, pumpkin seeds, I've got called them sunflower seeds, and then I will just pop those out of the oven, give them a toss, and then get these in so then they'll both be on a five-minute rotation. All right, and now I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit more barbecue seasoning over the top. Super simple. All right, now I'm just gonna stir these up. Get them evenly spread out again. As evenly as you can. And get these back in the oven. So I'm gonna put the all purpose one. Oops, cast irons in there. All purpose in the middle. And barbecue on the bottom. And setting my timer for five minutes. So we're just doing five minute increments of roasting these pumpkin seeds, basically until they're nice and crunchy. I think mine took probably 45 to 50 minutes in total just because I had them jam packed on those cookie sheets. Uh, but while those pumpkin seeds are roasting, I'm gonna go ahead and get all of my pumpkin puree blended up. And I totally forgot that I had my plunger for my blender and this made pureeing this pumpkin so quick and easy. But now I have all of that pumpkin pureed up, so I'm gonna go ahead and get it into bags. I'm using a two cup measuring cup and sticking that equivalent into a quart size freezer bag. I'm gonna freeze all of my pumpkin puree. You cannot can it, it is not recommended. So that's why I am freezing it in little Ziploc bags. So you will see at the very end how much pumpkin we get from roasting these sugar pie pumpkins and before I run out of freezer bags I'm gonna go ahead and fill up all of my leftover baby food jars that I save because it's things just like this I love having these jars on hand to where I can easily make a bunch of baby food and get it in the freezer ready to go I don't have to buy it so that's why I save all of my baby food jars but now I'm getting them all wiped down and I'm labeling and dating all of my bags so they are ready for in the freezer all right we are all done for the day we started with 14 sugar pie pumpkins or at least i think the majority of them are sugar pie pumpkins um some might be a cross of kind of what all the pumpkins we had growing were but still they taste good it well the pumpkin puree tastes great the Pumpkin seeds are absolutely delicious. And to be completely honest, I never had pumpkin seeds before until roasting these homemade ones. And I don't know why I've never done it before. They are so good. And they're such a nice snack and you don't have to feel bad about eating them. Like they're actually healthy. And I'm, I'm really, really enjoying those. Out of the 14 pumpkins that we processed today, Sorry, my cats are running around playing. If you hear anything in the background and my baby is right here listening. So full house tonight. So out of the 14 pumpkins we processed today, we got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 
27 and a half cups of pumpkin puree in freezer bags along with two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14 baby food jars. My baby absolutely loves pumpkin puree. And as you could tell when I was pureeing it up with my uh, Ninja Blender, I totally forgot that I had that plunger kind of like, I don't know, I guess attachment, whatever you wanna call it, but the plunger for your blender. I don't know why I forgot that I had that the very first time I made pumpkin puree because, oh my gosh, I added water and it just got even more watery than what it should be. And I am so glad I remembered I had that plunger attachment because I was just able to puree all of this up so lickety split. It took, I don't know, um, my Ninja Blender has like the, I guess an auto dial of things you can choose from like ice cream, puree, soup, stuff like that. And all I did was turn it to puree, plunged around whenever it was going. I think it took maybe a minute, not even a minute 30. I would probably say like one minute exactly. And I got all of this blended up. And it only took me, I think, five, five or six rounds of pureeing up that gigantic bowl of pumpkin to get all of this pumpkin puree. It's It was so easy, but also it just takes so much time. This is definitely something you can do while you're just piddling around your house, maybe doing chores, stuff like that, to where you're able to come into the kitchen, monitor what you're doing, make sure nothing's burning and stuff like that. So he's talking, but the pumpkin seeds, oh my goodness. These barbecue ones are absolutely dynamite. I love these. I literally had to put them over here so I stopped eating them. And these garlic ones are just as good. I would say, I think my husband are, my husband is going to like these more just because it's more of a garlicky flavor. Because we love our garlic here. They are so good. I think he is going to be obsessed with them. Those are going to be his go-to snack until they are all gone, which I'm probably guessing they're probably gonna be gone within the week. Um, I was planning on bringing those to Thanksgiving, but Thanksgiving is still, I think, almost a week and a half away, or two two weeks away. Um, and I they are going to be gone by then. If you haven't yet, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and especially subscribe to see what I'm gonna be doing with all of this pumpkin puree. I absolutely love having you in my kitchen with me. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.